Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to capture an amp sim plugin using Proteus and GuitarML software. So the first thing we're going to do is come in here to my DAW, which is Reaper, and uh, I'm going to be using the Ignite Emissary plugin, which is a fantastic free plugin by Ignite. And uh, I'll just give you a quick demo of what it sounds like here. So I think that sounds really good. I've kind of dialed in uh, some EQ on this amp. I also have uh, an impulse response with a pulse uh, plug-in and uh, some delay added. So I'm going to turn both of those off and show you just what um, the emissary amp by itself sounds like. So very harsh like you would expect from an actual uh, amp head. So I'm going to put in the the impulse response. Okay, so what we want to capture today is just the emissary amp by itself, no delay uh, or reverb, and uh, no impulse response. That will give us the best capture. So unlike capturing a real amplifier or pedal, uh, capturing a, a plug-in or effect is very simple. All you have to do is get the Proteus Capture Utility WAV file. And I'm just going to drag this into track one. And I'm going to make sure it starts from the very beginning of the track and remove that um, fade in that some DAWs will put in. And I'm going to make sure I only have the emissary amp uh, effect on. And I'm going to turn it on. And then all I have to do is render this out. And then we'll upload this to Colab. So I'm going to save this as emissary. And I'm going to save it as a wave 16-bit uh, PCM. Make sure it's mono, no tail. And I'm going to render that out. This will uh, apply the, the effect to it. And then we're going to use that to train an amplifier model based on this. Okay, that finished. And now I'm going to close out of Reaper and go to the Colab website. Now I've already loaded the uh, Proteus uh, Colab script on here. If you want a little more detail, you can watch my other videos on captures, but I'm just going to jump right into it here. So the first thing I'm going to do is upload my emissary wave file. And I'm just going to double check that it is using the GPU runtime, which it is. And while this is uploading, you can actually go ahead and start just step three, which will set up the, uh, the code environment, uh, get all of the machine learning uh, things that it needs to run this. Okay, so that's finished uploading and the environment's been set up. So now we're just going to pick one of uh, step fours, one of the step four steps to, uh, to run our machine learning and create an amplifier model. So next I'm going to rename our emissary wave to out. That's very important. That lets the code uh, know which file to get. So it, for a snapshot model, which is what we're doing here, uh, just name it out.wave. Now we could do a knob capture, uh, in which case we would have five out files, out one through out five. But uh, for this, I'm just going to do a snapshot capture, which snapshot captures tend to be a little more accurate than the knob captures anyway. Um, so you may want to try this first before starting a, a knob capture. 
Okay, so now I'm going to run step 4B for capture of a medium to high gain amp. And this should take a, about 10 minutes or less. So I'm going to let this run and I will skip to the end. So our training finished in about 10 minutes and the loss value got to 0 0.01, which is pretty good. And so now we're going to run step 5 to generate a Proteus compatible model. And I'm also going to run step 6 and see what that graph looks like. And I'm going to refresh um, the file browser menu to make those show up. And uh, yeah, so it looks like the model is lining up pretty well with um, the emissary plugin. So that's, that's pretty neat seeing the waveform like that. Uh, so now I'm going to download the new Proteus model. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and rename it right here before I download it. Yes, there we... And then I'm going to download and I will load that into the Proteus plugin and we'll compare it with the Emissary plugin. All right, now we're back in Reaper. I have the Proteus plugin and the Emissary plugin ready to go. So first I'm going to play just the Emissary plugin by itself. Turn that on. <laughs> And now the Proteus with the Emissary model loaded. And I'm going to switch back. So I am hearing a slight difference, but overall I think it sounds pretty close. So now let's add uh, impulse response and reverb to both of those. And I'll play the emissary first. And now Proteus. I'm going to turn up this drive knob. Now with snapshot models, the drive knob is controlling the input gain into the model. So it might help the sound if you turn it up just a little bit and kind of experiment with um, the, amount, the amount of input gain that it has. Switch back to the emissary. And back to Proteus. Alright, and that is plugin capture using Proteus. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.